I am a huge believer in the power of sport and it is my great honor as Premier to congratulate this year's inductees into the Northwest Territories Sports Hall of Fame. Recognizing excellence in sport in the Northwest Territories is about more than recognizing outstanding individual and group efforts. It's about celebrating the role that sport has in our communities, cultures, and Northern society. Organized sports, especially for our youth, offer a safe and healthy pastime and help to build foundational life skills. Leadership, emotional management, goal setting, perseverance, and teamwork are what distinguish outstanding athletes and create well-rounded adults. As a hockey player myself, I can confidently say that the skills I learned as part of a team are the same skills that serve me today. And as a proud hockey grandfather, I get to see firsthand and from a fresh perspective how the lessons that sports teaches us goes beyond any generational gap. Robin Spruill, Abe Thiel, and the Fort McPherson 1970 Centennial Canoe Team are all being inducted into the NWT Sport Hall of Fame tonight. They are all worthy recipients to receive this honor and have contributed more to the lives of Northerners than they will probably ever fully appreciate. Robin has made sport a central part of her life, beginning with her first of 12 Arctic Winter Games as a team NWT athlete at the young age of 11. Robin has been an ambassador and exceptional role model for generations of Northerners. This is true, whether on or off the courts, ice or fields, and in her roles as player, volunteer and coach. Positive attitude, commitment and perseverance continue to define Robin today in all aspects of her life. Abe Teal is a pillar of the sporting community. As a Northern athlete himself, it was the love of sport that led Abe to dedicate a large part of his life to growing and building NWT sport organizations to what they are today. His commitment to our athletes and his understanding of the power of sports for our youth has made him a driving force behind the development of sport in the Northwest Territories. And many athletes and teams owe him a debt of gratitude for his outstanding contributions to the Northwest Territories sporting community. This year, the team inductee is the Fort McPherson 1970 Centennial Canoe Team. They are a true example of how important sport and recreation are to our people, cultures, and communities. In 1970, to celebrate the Northwest Territory Centennial, 10 teams raced along more than 1,800 kilometers up the Mackenzie River from Fort Providence to Inuvik. The winning team was a group of young men from Fort McPherson. Captain Philip Blake, Woody Elias, Fred Vitriqua, Joe Vitriqua, John Itzy, and Joseph K. While Philip, Woody, Joe and Fred have passed, their achievement continues to inspire Northerners and the Gwich'in people. They prove to themselves and to people throughout the North just how high our athletes could go with the right motivation, dedication and teamwork and were the inspiration of high performance teams, athletes and youth and communities throughout the Northwest Territories. All of this year's inductees are deserving of this great honor. They have over this course of their own experiences shown others how sport can break down the barriers that exist between us and can have a profound effect on our youth and our people. Congratulations to each of this year's 2018 Northwest Territories Sports Hall of Fame inductees.